question. Hey guys, can you hear me on YouTube? Just let me know if you can hear me. And um, what's cracking, guys? Hey, hey guys. So it's better if you go on YouTube. I don't know how long this is gonna last on Instagram, but if you guys do have questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, hey Pedro, um, I'll just probably leave uh, the camera like this for now. The YouTube's going. Uh, 10 viewers, cool. Because I try to make that's better. Good now. Thanks, guys. Awesome. So, I'm going to be designing some logos. There's about 20 logos people sent me. This time it's been a bit crazy. Um, I've got my red licorice. Anyone like red licorice? Anyway, I got and I got my tea here. Um, there's a cool mug. It's from Skillshare. I don't know if you guys can can see that. Anyway, it's a bit hot. I don't want to burn myself. But um, let's let's jump into it. Let's start creating some logos. Um, and uh, let's do it. So first up, we got one from my friend. Um, so he's he's called another fanatic. Um, he has an Instagram account. So he sent me this logo. It is a logo for a DJ named Vin. Um, it has a beard, and there's a DJ in the headset, as I can see. I'm just gonna move this over here. Um, I think there's a lot going on. I would like to see if it can be made simpler. So first up, I think the typography is very interesting. So you can see this, um, that's kind of interesting. The This is too detailed. So whenever you're designing a logo, you wanna try and keep it as simple as possible. So if I just grab my red color here, you can see there's like too, de too many details. So what happens is when you have these lines, when it's scaled down, it actually loses that detail and people can't tell at a small size, right? Um, so, that's why you always want to simplify. So first up, I'm just going to turn my artboards off. I'll keep that black background. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of just pull this icon out. The icon is also too big, so I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to pull this up. Hey guys on Instagram, um, if you can jump to my YouTube channel, um, you'll see the design. Um, that will be the best place to be. And um, yeah, I can, I can switch the screen. Hold up one second. Hopefully you guys can see that. I won't be able to answer the questions. So, um, all right, cool. All right, how's YouTube going? All right, let me just put the volume up one second. Can you can you hear me now? Awesome. Cool, so I'm gonna just jump in here. So I'm gonna simplify this. I'm gonna grab this and just plus all these shapes. I don't, I just don't want that. I don't need that DJ. A logo doesn't need to be literal all the time, right? So I'm just going to simplify this. I'm going to bring this hair in because we've got this space here. We don't need that space. I'm going to drag that in like this. I've kind of liked this. This is kind of simple. You could even like maybe get the text and maybe what if I want to like type DJ, right? I type DJ and then let's get a nice simple sans serif font. Thanks, Nikhil. Really appreciate it, man. By the way, guys, there's super chat on the YouTube, so you can hit that sticker. If you have a question, I'll be very thankful. It's something I'm testing out, but um, yeah, if you guys got some extra extra coin, um, then you're more than welcome to do that. So I'm going to grab this text, drop it, maybe call it DJ, right? And then I can tighten this up, just, you know, and I could even do that if I want to keep that like whole DJ type of thing. So like, look, even that's kind of cool, right? Kind of, kind of simple. So, or I could just leave it out, right? But for now, I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like this earphone is all right. It's got enough space. There's a lot of space in between, in between here, right? So that's that's okay. It's not distracting. I'm just gonna scale this up. I feel like there's nothing, in like, the the font is. It, it's interesting how we customize it, but I just feel like, um. You know, it could use something, something unique. Hopefully, how's the Instagram going? Hey guys. Cool. All right, so I feel like there's this, see the spaces in here, that's consistent, which is really, really good when it comes to a logo, but I want to try and see, maybe I can customize this N, right? So what if, what if I did this and then I maybe, maybe bring this down 
this um this top part. Actually, I might just cover it with black just to hide that. I'm gonna turn off my pixel snapping there. Just gonna cover that for now. I'll I'll cut this off. Like, what if we combine the end there? So just making little custom customizations, right? Just little authorizations. But obviously, it starts to look a little bit like a um, W. So it's like, how can we make it look interesting? Maybe leave that space there. And I'll just use my eye to sort of see how, like to make it consistent. So that looks, that looks interesting. And then what if, what if I just deleted this as well? What if I just did it like this? Does it look like a V? Maybe it looks like a V, right? So I think that's really that's really cool. And I'm just gonna add some color in here. So I like jumping. Let me just go on the internet real quick. Because um, I like color hunt. Color hunt is really cool. Hopefully it sends you to the right place. I think this is the right one. Um, I think. Uh, let's go to colors. Here we go. This one still looks like a V. Haha. <laughs> Oh, well, there's no right and wrong answers, guys. This is just for educational purposes, right? So it doesn't matter. It's um, it's just for fun and for learning. I'm going to try and keep the stream under two hours this time. Last time it went for <laughs> over two hours, so I'm like, okay. So this is colors.co, guys. Really, really cool. Got so many palettes here. That they even updated, I think. It's really nice. Um, so for, because this is a DJ logo, I think I'm going to go for a nice, nice bright color. So I like to just quickly... I think if I click here, I can go... Um, export the palette, but I'm just going to copy the um, screenshot it, paste that in here, All right? And then I can go in here and then use the eyedropper tool to come and select the colors that I want. Like this. And then a cool trick is what I do is I go to my swatches panel. Uh, I'm just going to delete all these here. I can select these, press the folder button, and then I can make a color group really easy. So then I can maybe, you know, what if I want to make this or this like blue? Like that's kind of cool. What if I just want to make like make the eye like this? What if I wanted to I kind of like what if I want to extend it? So it's all about just playing around. I might just tweak these, the spacing for this. And I might just go like this. Maybe what if we have like a half end there? And then I'm going to tighten everything up. I'm just using my mouse and just using my arrow keys as well. Still looks like a V. Um, cool. Hopefully everything is working well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to play with this. I feel like maybe the eye can just be be chill. And I'm just going to cut this. Cut that off. Oh, I don't want it to do that. Just want it to cut this bit. Like that. So it's sort of... Ah, it's not doing what I want it to do. I'll cut this with the shape builder tool. So it's got a little like cut there. But overall, make this smaller. I'll get rid of this. And I'm going to change the color for the background. And I think that's it. I think that's it. making it a bit simpler. So from this, we went from this one to this one a lot simpler cleaner some nicer colors and um just tweaking the text a bit obviously if i had more time i'd play around with it but i think this works really well all right let's jump on to the next one so the next one's going to be i'm just going to go down the emails um and do my best um okay so from from studio gg um i think i have it in the download button okay Okay, so this is the logo. Um, this person, he did it himself. He's a photographer. He does like lifestyle photography. 
it should his his name is like a J J E G E so it's like a J E he said um overall it's it's simple this pa this color palette of the gradient is very lightweight it's very soft mellow the stroke is a little bit thin um and i feel like the mark itself is too long so when you have a very long mark you it's sometimes it can be hard to fit within a square like it's going to be really cramped why is text easy removed because it's more simple i've got people watching instagram um so the target is speaking dutch but english is okay color isn't an issue totally free i don't mind the name studio gg isn't part of the logo i'm hoping um he's from belgium okay so it's about photography so jg so i'm just gonna type out his name see if we can you know play around with that because mm -hmm. he says he doesn't really need that that name but it could be interesting i might just play with a symbol I'm trying to think if i can like play with something like this it's always good to type out the name so really cool that's really cool so first of all i'm just going to brighten the palette up so i'm going to just keep that circle and i'm going to go for maybe we'll go for like this nicer nicer blue there and i could even uh, make maybe maybe use a this gradient so i'm gonna get my gradient tool over here drag drop it i'm gonna go 90 angle there um it didn't i don't know what happened it didn't copy this time okay all right there we go that's better so i feel like we can brighten it up so it just has more impact, especially on social media. You want to have the, like a, a bright color. It just feels more lively, right? So I'm just dragging that, tweaking it a little bit. I'm going to get this stroke up and running. So I'm just making a box and then making a stroke, right? I'm just going to stick with black first. So the J and the G, I can see that, but I feel like it can be more simplified. So what if, what if we use some of these? So what if I go JG? This is inter, really nice font actually. Maybe I don't want to make it too bold. Maybe what if we just kept it like medium or something? just do something simple like this so it's all about playing around and then I'll duplicate it and see what else we can make so typically when it's like a camera lens t people will go for like that cool shot when it's like this and then they'll go like make a make it like this so I can make a circle and then if I rotate this we'll see what will happen copy like this so I typically like make that like camera lens effect so it's like what if I could make something interesting with this right so what if it's like J so um, maybe if I make this a bit bigger so to me, I can sort of see this J here, J and then G. Wait, sorry, G like this. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but just using a weird abstract mark, maybe that's the way to go, right? Um, how's the stream doing? Good? Cool. So we can even use something like that. I could, you know, take this, maybe expand upon it. What if I maybe I want to maybe I want to connect it? So it's like all about playing around, but then obviously hierarchy. When it comes to hierarchy, especially when it's a like a name, the letters make a difference because people read from left to right, majority of people. So sometimes um, 
crush it. What's happening, Instagram? What's happening? Um, so, yeah. So, what if I wanted to do that? Problems. I might just, like, chuck this in there. Do 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 do. So it's an abstract mark. Obviously, it's not really balanced, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with the frame again. Could get object path, and um, I love using the offset path. This is really cool, like this. And what if, like, I made a stroke? Something trippy like that. I'm just um, just playing around with shapes. So what if it like opens up? So now I can see this this J. Uh, I don't see so you guys can see it. And why is that stroke so small? So you can see the J. All right, that's cool. But it's like, how am I gonna do the G? What if I played around? Maybe. What about that? Maybe we just. That the letters don't have to be seen, right? So it's like, what if I just do this? What if I get rid of this stroke? Like, what about something like that? Like, that's kind of cool. What do you guys think? Should that have the stroke there? Or should it not have the stroke? Or what if I... Maybe I should have it like this. I'm just playing around here. But if I put this here, I sort of lose the J a little bit. I don't know. I kind of think I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna chill with this. I'm gonna expand it out, chop it up. And it sort of feels like a frame now, but it like has these cuts in it. Or I can drop it like that and it's got the J there. Um and then if you flip it, so what if I, once again, I might add that thing back. So if you flip it, it's a G and this way it's a J. So that's kind of cool. And I think, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to make the thickness the same and sort of put it in the middle there. So you can see it's directly in the middle. So we'll get rid of this one. I'm going to Pathfinder all together. I think that works a lot better. So you can see this is very thin, very fragile, but this feels like more solid. Um, I feel like this works better. All right, awesome. Oh, these are really big. I'm gonna scale these down. All right, let's jump onto the next one, guys. Um, do 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 do. We have one from Luana. Oh, wow, that's a pretty decent Lego. Oh, wait, maybe it's too far. So, I'm going to drop it in. This one looks pretty decent, guys. Very, The colors are complementary colors. Typically, when you see blue and ori orange, they're actually complementary. Um, she says she works for Zika Social Science Network. I'd like to see you redesign the project logo because it doesn't reflect the mission of that. The aim of the network is to investigate the social political and the epistemological processes, I don't know what that is, related to the impact of the Zika virus epidemic as both a social and health problem, not only for Brazil, but as a global health issue. So it seems like I didn't reply to this email. So it's for a virus uh, thingy, so epidemic. Okay, let's, um, let's see if they have a website. Always do your research, guys. That is the key right there. What's up, Diplo? What's happening? Hey, Frank. Hey, Diplo. Zane. Alan. What's cracking, guys? Guys, remember to leave a, a comment below. There's also super chat as well. Um, if you have a question, drop me a question in the box. Um, I don't think I need to touch this, but what we can do, 
I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to... Let's trace this image. Okay, cool. I'm going to expand it. I'll get rid of... So I couldn't find anything like... Um, like, I don't... It doesn't seem like they have a website. Or maybe this one. Wait, maybe this one. Is this a website? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Zika Science Network. So it looks like they... Maybe they changed their logo already. <laughs> Maybe they... Okay, I'm gonna go to the About page and suss it out. About... Feminist Collective Genius... Okay, so it's not a virus. It's a woman feminist collective. Their vision is to create global impact. Okay, I feel maybe we should just um change the colors. So I've just traced this, right? Because I don't want to remake it. It might take too long. Um, whoa. I'm going to use these palettes over here. So what if... Let's go for some bright palettes, shall we? I think those circles are a bit too big though. I have a compound path on, so I've got to turn that off. So sometimes when it comes to a logo, sometimes it might just need an updated color palette. Sometimes it might just need to, you know. What if I like did that? What if I put them on there? What if I put them on the actual thing, you know? Going to add a circle again in the center, roughly. And then I'm going to rotate uh, 90 degrees like this. I'm going to update the font as well. So instead of a, a sans serif, we'll go for we'll go for a sort of um, serif font. So I'm just going to go through here. Um, and I'm just going to lay out, lay out, lay out someone's. Do, 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 do. Magdalena. Oh, Magdalena is actually nice. Kind of like that. It's like feminine. It might feel a bit too premium, however. But we need to type out the name. So we'll type it in all caps. We'll type it in lowercase. Um. The other stuff is like Spanish. I might, I might just leave that. So I'm going to zoom in. I'll tighten the up. So tighten up the kerning there a little bit. Hey, Christian. What's cracking, man? Thanks for joining the stream, bro. Appreciate it. So what if... Now I'm going to change the color, right? Zika. And then I can... Um, I'll outline this. Select the circle. Um... Turn the compound path off. Make this pink like this. So now we sort of have this this shape. Okay, let's go. Let's try and type this, guys. But and I'm gonna keep this a sans, a sans font. I'll go um, Montreux Jazz. We'll keep it soft. Um, I don't know why it's only showing me italics for some reason. So I'll go bold. So this font is called Mon Montreal or Montreal uh, Ox. I don't know how to really say it. Let's. What happens if we do like all caps? So that works. I feel like that works. I feel like this. That kind of works too, but it sort of feels not too. And we'll make it a bit lighter, make it a bit smaller, bump up the tracking a little bit. Maybe go back up to demi demi bold. And I think I think we've got a nicer I wouldn't say nicer, but it's um yeah, just different, right? So instead of having this symbol on top, it's sort of pushing the text down. Um secondly, you wouldn't even be able to fit that on an Instagram or whatever. It's too it's so long it's like too wide, right? So it's like 
we simplified and put it next to each other. Um, and then if you want to do like another version, we could like put this up like this. And then you could have like Zika. You never want to make the icon too big, right? And then what if, what if I had a version where I delete this, make this all pink, and then I drop this down, right? And I delete these dots. Something like that, right? So that, that could even work as well. Like it's still simple enough that you can see these lines. I'm probably going to thicken it up. So what I'll do, I'll add a stroke and I'll bump the stroke up to sort of match the thickness there. Maybe not too much, maybe three points. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So we took it. This feels more masculine, more dominating corporate. And then we took it, made it a bit more feminine, a bit more nicer, but still feels professional, right? So I think that's a, that's a nice little um, tweak there. So I'm going to drag this over here. Up next, let me, let me guys know if you guys are enjoying this stream. Drop a comment in the comment section. Instagram, I don't know what's happening here. There's people watching. Hey guys. What are these amazing things that you make, bro? I don't know if these guys can see it. So, just recapping, we did this low, we did these ones. This to this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Do like another version like this. And um, we turn this one into this oh you guys can't really see it on instagram you can see how it's blue there yeah hopefully you guys are seeing it all good okay jumping to the next one um this one's from sarah she has a where is it this one i think it is yeah okay so she didn't really have a name it's like an art a gift um gift um company uh it's for like what she say artsy gift it's called printed illustrations in canvas cups and notebooks so it's more of an illustrated type of logo that's why that's why she sort of did this like illustration i can see there's an error though see this guys make sure you always check see this and this and obviously if you're not a designer it's okay that's fine just you always want to check your work and see here see this guys this and here as well so yeah she's not a yeah she doesn't have experience doing logos but as a logo designer you can see we want to come in we want to break it down see what's not working you can see as well this stroke from this shape you can see it's causing that brown to go excess which is not good so that those are the areas that I can point out the colors are okay not too bad um the outline i i think it should be darker for that contrast you always want to have some sort of contrast right um loving the process thanks guys so much is this live show yeah it'll be there'll be a replay on my youtube guys so you can watch it okay so first of all, i want to pick a nice playful font right um that's that's kind of nice once again i'm looking for this one i'm looking at some serif and sans serif and I could even do a script as well so but you sometimes you get these weird fonts it's all like um <laughs> it's got weird shapes in it sometimes it's not always the best option to be honest we got W Herman as well is a good one that's a premium font right there um let's go check out some scripts so I'm just going through here Remember what what emotion do you want to evoke? What feeling do you want to evoke in with that font that you want to choose that font that's going to work well and that we can probably customize it, right? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I love Nick Anley. It's always nice that font. We got streetwear, too girly Yorkshire. What about this one? I think this is kind of nice. I'm going to what I'm going to do. I like. I like this font here, and then I'm gonna tighten that up a bit. I'm gonna do um, copy this down. So now I've got these two. 
I don't know why I had the blue there. So I'm seeing, does this work? Does this make sense? Is it readable? Is it legible? Like, look at this font. It's like, <laughs> it's going like this. See that angle? It feels weird, right? It feels a bit weird. Um, so it's like, how can I, how can I fix this? So what I can do is I'll expand this one. You can go to type and then I go to create outlines. And then what I can do, double click on this group and then I can bring this down. So I always try and customize my fonts. So I want to try and line it up, right? So you can see the X height line. You can see it should be, a, it's a bit higher than that. It's just like this roughly. I'm, I'm using a mouse guys, just keep in mind. So you can see, it doesn't have to be accurate, but it's becoming a little bit nicer. Okay, cool. So that's cool. Now let's take this icon and like, what if we could do something with the ribbon? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, what if I got like a present? Um, let me see. Do do do. I'm gonna jump onto Vexels. Dun, 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 dun. Let's type in gift, right? Let's see what pops up. Okay, so I'm looking at different icons. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cool. This one's simple. I'm looking for a simple shape. Something simple, not too crazy. That one's nice. I like the shape of the ribbon for that one. That's kind of nice as well. So I don't want to go too deep. I just want to pick something simple. I think, what if we go, go for this one? By the way, guys, um, Vexels, I do have a 35% off discount. So there's a link in my description. You can click that. If you sign up for an annual plan, it's you get 35% off. So you won't find that on the site. Just a quick, uh, just a little affiliate um, thing, which I, yeah, you guys can check it out if you want. Um, okay, so the issue, look at these textures, man. Why do I don't want textures? I'm just going to ungroup it. So guys, sometimes it's okay to use some elements, right? But I'm going to customize this. So I'll delete the textures there. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to pull. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I'm gonna plus, oh, so you can see there's a mask here. You see this box? That's a mask. So typically what happens is when you download some of these icons and logos, they have masks and you wanna make sure you delete that. So it can be annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna put a stroke on this. Bump it up like this. And I'm just gonna, all right. And I'm gonna get rid of this. I feel like this can do the job and I'm just going to play around with some colors. Once again, got my palette here. Let's see. And obviously I can always look for some, some interesting. I think a night, this nice pinky salmon -y color would work. So once again, I just make shapes, get the eyedropper. dropper. It's so easy guys. Like, um, yeah. So she feel, yeah, her personality is kind of soft and, um, you know, the, just that bubbly personality. I could even do it like this. If I wanted to do like a white, um, let's go like a white box for like a shadow. You can sort of emulate like a shadow, right? Um, I'm just going to bring it the ribbon above it though. So like that could even work. What if I, what if I deleted this? Um, can delete that like that could that's even more simple but there's nothing unique it still just feels like it's bland right but what if what if I took this took that and then what if I what if it was like on top of it or something or or what if I could even put this what if I wanted to like put this inside the a Use that negative space. Plus this. And like put the little 
I think this is a bit too on that. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think that's kind of interesting? So good. <laughs> my wife is messaging. Oh my gosh. What's Instagram saying? What's the shortcut for copy paste the colors? Uh, I press I for the eyedropper tool. Where's the DJ? Yeah. Um, okay. So there's that option. There's this option. I'm going to make it shorter. It's too, it's going too long. So I'm just going to group this, make it smaller. Maybe align it. Maybe if I want to do that, but it looks a bit off. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to change the color like this. And I don't want to make this, um, black. So I could go this salmon color and then look for a shade. So hopefully you guys see, you see, you go to color guide and you click this and you can get all these shades. I can change it as well. I can click on warm, cool, or see that how it changes there. Tints. Um, so I can make it like dark like this. So now it's, um, instead of black, it looks better. It's sort of, it has this brown. So it looks a lot nicer. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to roughen this up. So I'm going to just plus these together. Um, plus, I'm plussing all these shapes and then just stuff that. Just going to copy the colors again. Oh, what the? Because I plus the shapes, I have to like, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to roughen it a bit. So what I can do is I can go to effect, um, stylize and go to, no, not this one. Distort, transform, roughen. So it's a bit ugly, but what we want to do, we want to change it. We want to make it like 0 0.0.2. 0 .2. Um, I will change the points to smooth. And you can see we're going to go 0 0.3. So we don't want to do too much because it ruins the shape. So go maybe 0 0.1. And put that to absolute. So I'm trying to smooth, I'm just trying to make it um, 0 0.6. So you see what it does to the edges? Because it's like an illustration thing type of playful, you, you, you don't want to make it too like stiff. So that's why I sort of roughen it out. And because you can see how this is sort of rough, like I could even add maybe, I'm going to cut this, press Shift M for the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to plus these shapes here. I'm going to delete the text. All right. Delete that. And so now I've got this thing. Then I'll make it white. Make it white. And then maybe I could just like drop it on there. Like like a highlight or something. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's kind of interesting. Or I can just play around. Like cool. Or I could just leave it out. But um, yeah, I'm happy with this one. I think that um, does the job, and we'll jump on to the next one. Do do do, Debril. Okay, he sent me Phase Clan or something clean. All right, I just got sent this one from one of the guys on the live stream. If if you're watching, bro, let's jump into it. Okay, so this is for a gaming channel. There's probably there's a lot of gaming channels around there. Called Secti, Sec Die. I don't know. How do you? What do you guys think? Um, when I plus the shapes, I'm using the Shape Builder tool. The Shape Builder tool, guys. So you press Shift M. It's um, it's. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's um this one here. And you can plus everything together. Okay, back to the creation. I'm gonna have some tea, guys. Um, I'm gonna just look up FaZe Clan. I've heard of him before, but let's see what's cracking. Okay, this is FaZe Clan. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, I don't know. I might take some elements from it. It's more simple. I don't know why he did this little ninja thing. <laughs> um, 
Okay, okay. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to trace this. Like that. I'm going to select a futuristic font. Um, I'm gonna go for a sans serif. So, let's see. I'm gonna type in BW. I got my Delica. Um, what else we got? We got Nista Grotesque is nice as well. That's international. Bold. A lot of sans serif fonts pretty much look the same, guys. So it's like sometimes you shouldn't stress. Oh, I like these TT blue screens. I don't even have to do this, right? So it's already typed by itself, the um, element. Even do this. And then, um, so I'm just going to change the color here. So I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to trace these eyes like this. And that's all I'll need. All right. Make it black for now. Make this white. I'm going to find the center point of the circle. Do this. I'm going to plus these together like that. I'm going to duplicate this because I want to make some changes. What if I did that, but it makes it feel like he's losing his head or something? So I could, it's all about playing around. Another cool trick as well, if you want to have that space, but um, don't want to do it all, like you can add like a little white shape like this. Like that, sort of adds like a little edge there. And then I could bring these eyes in, drop it. So just to make it like interesting, right? The Valorant logo. Well, I'm just gonna play around with this, man. I feel like this works well. Hey, Pavle, what's happening, man? What size do I use? Well, you want to start it as high res, man. Okay, guys, look, this is a Valorant logo as well. He just likes this text. Well, maybe stuff the ninja guy and just do text. I can just do... What if I just did SI? Stuff it. So, what I'll do... I'm just going to customize this, guys. No, I don't like that E. That E. This, um... The space is cramped there. What? I could do this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then I could do this. So a cool trick. I try and make things even, right? So I'll go 45 degrees holding shift. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna line this up, so I'll line that up roughly. I'll change the color so you can see. When you double click on a shape within a group, I can like go in and select it, and you can see everything goes white or like opaque. And I want to try and have this like motif, the pattern there, like this. So now it's all. I know that this this here and then this one is the same angle now, pretty much. And obviously I can use grids, but for now, I think that's just how it's going to be. Um, I'm just, this ninja hat, I'm just kept it really simple. And um, I'm trying to figure out what I should do. I think I might just leave it.
Looks like a beetroot now. What do you guys think of esports? Is anyone gay on here? Anyone like gaming? Hey, the creators. Before that, I'm used to seeing you. Oh, hey, how are you? Thanks, man. Thanks for you guys. Really appreciate it. Hope, hopefully, you guys are enjoying. I'm just going to copy um, this palette here, guys, because I, I like it. This. And then. Nah, I think. I think it would look better like this. This hat is too wide, so I'm gonna. It's too big. Drop it down. Still. It's, it's kind of. You gotta find this, this nice balance. Make it like wider. Sexy. I think that's cool. And then. Sometimes what I like to do as well, um, you can add like a shadow here. Minus that off, and then I can go transparency multiply, and it will multiply the color on top. So you can see it's multiplied that. More mascot logos. Yeah, everyone loves mascot logos, eh? I'm going to double click. Just, I want to bring the eyes. Uh, I wanted to bring it down, but stuff it. I could put, I was going to put a tagline, but stuff it. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Alright, cool. That's that one. Let's jump into another one. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm running out of space. Running out of space, guys. People are sending me logos, guys. What is happening? How do you make it and how to get followers fast? Any tips? Work hard. That's it. One thing I've learned, guys, is to... You reap what you sow. If you don't put... If you don't plant seeds in the ground, nothing's going to grow. So you got to put in that work, and you got to work it. Till that ground. Alright guys, this I think you guys will like this logo. It's a bit more gamey as well. And here it is. What do you guys think of this one? I think it's really cool. I think it's, it's neat. There's some legibility issues here with this font, the gadget font. Like, it's a bit hard to read, uh, and it's really spaced out. Um... Overall, like for games you c and movies, you can sort of um, break the rules a bit, be out of the boundaries, because it's you know it's that market, so they can be a logo can be more detailed, right? But obviously, we can always make tweaks. So um, she runs a YouTube channel called Tonito Gadget. Um, we'll see if we can find it, guys. Here. Okay, I don't know what language it is, but okay, it's like gadgets and tech stuff. That's what I thought in the banner there. So she likes the bold, simple logo. Abstract is cool. Make it a little bit more serious and mature, but still have a cheerful element, right? So that cheerful element can um, come out through that, you know, like the yellow color, because yellow is very joyful. Both men and women um, like it. What happened? Audio? What happened to the audio? Hello. Are we still rolling here, guys? Yes, we are. Cool logo. You say stuff it a lot. <laughs> yeah, bad bad habits, eh? Someone going. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, we're about to design some Legos. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do to this one, guys, but um. Let's try and find some nice fonts over here. I try not to download too many free fonts. So I'll type out the name Tonito. Ooh, that looks kind of good. 
And um, once again, create a type wall. So I'm going to come through and um, yeah, just pick some different fonts. Pick some different fonts. Until we find something we like. We got Avenue Pro. I think, do I have Futura? No. I don't know what that one is. Parts and Labor. Oh, yes. I could use this one. So, this is Parts and Labor 3D. I got this font, I think, a couple years ago from a mate. So, it's got, like, it already comes with, like, shadows and stuff, see? So, I don't have to create that. So, I could use this. Let me tighten that up. Type in gadgets. So, once again, I could have it as one font like this. So that still works because it's in a, it's within a square, right? So that can still work. Um, or I'll duplicate it by holding Alt Shift, drag it, and I can pick another font. I want to find like a tall font. I think BW Stretch will work for this. Um, I'll go bold. I'll make it uppercase as well. So that could work. What do you guys think? Which version do you guys like? I could maybe put the, w the text like this. Right. Or I could just get rid of gadget and put um, tech and or like gadget reviews. Gadget. Gadget. How do you? Oh my gosh. Gadget tech reviews. Okay. Uh, make it black. I also like, there's another font I use a lot nowadays is, is ga um, Uniform. That's a nice font as well. I think, yeah, I don't think this one's working. I'm going to change this one. And it's already, it's got condensed version. So you can see it's like really cool. So Tenido and um, I like this Game Boy thing. Game Boy, yeah. Bonito. So, what we can do, we need to So, let's um where's my color palette here? Maybe we can make it a little bit um maybe if we go up Upper shade, make it make it orange, All right? It's a bit more, so you can see the difference there, right? One's like honey, one is like um, got a bit more yellowy. That's kind of nice. So I'm gonna expand this out. I want to see. So I'll make it. Sorry, I'll make this black. Oh my gosh, it's not working. I'll make it the blue black and then I'm going to select the color shift M for the shape builder tool. And once again, I can do this boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. That's looking fresh. My friends, I can also customize it by plusing this. Oh wait, no, I'm going to plus these. So inside the O see that how it's got that like white space. I could, I could get rid of that if I want. There's also this space here as well. That's, that's a bit annoying. But then it looks a bit weird, so I might have to just um, nudge it a, a tiny bit, just nudge it a little bit. Hey, bro, your content are awesome. Thanks, man. So, yeah, I like this, guys. I'm going to change this to this this nice darker bluey navy color. I, always, I love using bold fonts, guys. Make it a bit smaller. Lining it up there. Hopefully Instagram can see. Hi Jeremy, I'm a new subscriber. What makes videos criticizing? Yeah, I might do a live maybe about that. Yellow and black combo is great. Thanks bro, too long. Hey, funny. Game Boy might be outdated. Yeah, exactly. So take out the Game Boy and just put tech. Oh my gosh, there's a white, why is there a white box? Guys, sometimes it's like glitching. Uh, because of this. See this? 
There's a moss key. Get rid of that. Okay, make this white. Um, I'll group this, select it, control G, group it, double click, um, press Y for the magic wand, select this and click white like that. That doesn't look too good, so maybe that one, maybe, uh, let's go for a lighter shade, maybe. Like, I'm just playing around, guys, like, there's, like, so many ways I can, I can take this thing, yeah? Maybe, maybe I just want to make it. What if I did like a lighter? Maybe this one. Like even that's kind of cool. And then I can chuck some textures. Um, let's go. I'm gonna drag this in. This is a T Tiff T T I F F T texture. You can see the texture there. And then we have it, and maybe we want to add some like patterns or something, guys. Like, um, do 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 do. Oh yeah, we got something happening. Let's download this. Back again on Vexels, guys. I'll download this pattern. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh, trippy pattern. Delete this, delete this. Jump in here. Oh no, I didn't want that. So she could probably use this for like her, her banner, like her YouTube banner, right? Um, overlay, make it go behind. I, I wanna get rid of the middle, the squares inside of it. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Working. So now I've got like this texture in the back there. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. Thanks. And I'll drop the opacity to 60%. And I think the it's too big, so... I'll make it smaller. You guys can tell I'm having fun here, just playing around. So there you guys go. We got that cool fresh logo. This was the old one. Does it feel more mature? Maybe I took out all the detail. Maybe it's too much. I could add some strokes. Another cool trick I can do. Um, let me show you a trick as well. Ungroup these. So I've got all these individual shapes, right? I can group that together. I'll control C, control F, paste it in front, flip it, put the stroke on it. So you see I've got this stroke, and then I could um, bring it on the inside. So there it adds a bit of more detail, as you can see there. And then I could even go further if I want, make another copy on top, go to my gradient tool, drop the orange down here, Uh, make this 0%, make this 90 angle, get rid of the white, 0%. So we have, um, we have this effect, right? But what I'm going to do now, watch closely, transparency panel, and I'm going to go to overlay. So now you can see this, and then overlay makes it light. And then I can drag that out like this. So now we have a cool gradient. On top, um, I could, I could do multiply. That will do that one. I could do um, color dodge. I think, yeah, color dodge will make it very bright. So, there's a couple tricks you can use, guys, to make a cool logo. So, hopefully, you like that one. I'm jumping to the next one now. Oh, the live ended. Well, see you, Instagrammers. Share to IGTV. Yes. One second, guys. I'm just um, IGTV went out, which is kind of which is kind of good for us, guys. Um. Okay.
Okay, let me move this stuff. Okay, next one. Anton. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one. Lion tail. Let me see. Can you get this? Just put a title on and press it. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go. Just a reminder, guys. There is super chat below. If you have a question, if you just want to, you know, shoot it through. I haven't done it before, so I'm just testing it out. Um, I'm going to have a, some, some licorice. 27 viewers right now. That's pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that's some good stuff right there. Okay. I'll show you their website. This is the website for Lion Tail. The the actual logo is um it's um stock imagery. Nice font. So it's all about like master artisans. Custom experience, very detailed. Um, he put the he did the logo himself, so he's not a designer, but he's learning. I'm um, looking for a similar strong logo showing the lion from the side with the face facing towards the viewer and front paw elevated. As our name is Lion Tail, Lion, the tail needs to be somewhat prominent, as in the, this logo. Royal Heritage, majestic feeling as we focus on classic handcrafted furniture. Okay. Let's go to Dribble. Let's go to Pinterest. Type Lion logo. Mm -hmm. So, I'm on Dribble. Look at some logos. I typed in Lion. Okay, here we go. Oh, this one's cool, guys. This baby. So, see how they do the tails? Yeah, good job, guys. Come to YouTube. Don't go on Instagram, man. Like I told you guys. That's a nice tail as well. So I don't want to spend too much time on the face. I'm just going to use the tail. Right? So. Let's go to Google. Type in lion. <coughs> So you can look at the, a lion, a lion's tail. It's kind of cool. All right, guys, we'll see how this turns out. I'm just going to trace it. I'm just going to keep it simple, guys. We've already been an hour here. Looks like a golf club or something. I kind of like this, what they did here. I might just use that. Use this. Use my pen tool, right? So... Oh. So 
So I just took what they had existing. So, because you want to simplify logo, like this is too much detail, right? Obviously, if you had like days and hours, you could play around. So, took this, and then I'm gonna find a font. I don't want to make it um. I don't want to make it too too modern, right? So I've got to find a a nice font here. Thank you. That looks nice. It gives my idea. Oh, no worries. Thanks. So, from Indonesia. I need, um... Guys, maybe I should get some more fonts. So, you want a heritage feel. Whenever, um... Like it's vintage, you want to try and like, it's best to get some nice fonts. I have, um, where's my favorites here? This one. This is from Retro Supply Co. Or also Jeremy Vesey has a shop. Um, they've got a lot of cool fonts. It's more for like, um, Like alcohol labels or pack vintage packaging. We got Nimbus Roman D. Cause you see, you see this logo. This is a script, and then they they space it out. You see this? This should be all connected. This should be connected. Uh, it should be, it should be connected like this. But they spaced it out, right? And with the script font, you don't want to space it out like that. You want to keep that script, that cursiveness, right? So I'm going to sort of... Let's put this one. This is Nimbus Roman D. People just love sending me logos. Guys, I can't do logos all night. I want to make a circle. I'll duplicate it, drop the size, and let's let's see what negative space looks like, right? Okay, that's cool. That kind of maybe looks like a feather. Maybe it, they'll understand it's a tail because it says lion tail. They'll get that image in their head. Right? What if it looks like this? So it's about playing around, right? What if I did it like this? Like, you just got to play around, guys. See how it fits in the circle. Does that work? Is this, is this working? Like, how does it look like when I put it like this? Scale it down. Like, that's kind of cool. Um, Where's their website? Oh, I was going to, like, maybe, oh, like a tagline. Um, yeah. Upgrade your life. We'll take that. And then, because I want to contrast the font, I'm going to go with a sans serif. I'll go with Montreal Classic. Montreal Classical. Alright, so I can make it full like this and bring this up like that or I could make this smaller and put it in the um, I like sometimes having it like that or you can have it to the left side or to the right side and maybe I want to change the case so I want title case 
like this. Maybe it's a bit too thin. Maybe go demi bold, right? So it's just about playing around, seeing what's working. Maybe I maybe I want to center it, right? I could do that if I want. Maybe I, I could delete it. But I kind of like this logo. So we came from this one to a really simple logo like this. Just taking that element of the tail there, right? That shape and just applying it to something like this. Really clean, really simple. Maybe tighten that up there. And um, yeah, it works well. On to the next one. Man, everyone's sending me logos, guys. Um, some of the old, the guys from the last stream sent me another logo. Hmm. All right, we have one from Attila. Mm -hmm. Would you like some Thai massage? Melange, melang. I don't know. How do you guys say it? Massage. <laughs> um, all right. So, it's Swedish and Thai massage. A combination. That's what they said. Um, that's the only context I got, guys. Um, so, um... One thing, I, one thing I noticed. Awesome, my wife just got a subscriber, guys. She has a channel. Go check her out. She, um, any ladies over here want some like, marriage tips and stuff? <laughs> fashion, oh, fashion tips, beauty tips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so you see this circle thing? That's like a typical logo design, for, like type of element they've used for years. It doesn't work, guys. Send him carousel, no. Um, it's just like a coffee thing. It just doesn't work. And I don't, it's like, yeah, I don't know. This, it, it's not balanced. You've got, this is too spaced out. This, there's awkward space here. This feels random. It just feels like it's floating in this, in this circle, right? So what I'm going to do, hopefully you guys are following along. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate this shape with the pen tool. Reflect it real quickly. I'm going to type Malang. Malang massage. What if we just kept it one? One word. You want licorice? Oh. Yeah. I've had too many. Um, amphibia font. Ooh. Too bold. Amphibia. I'll customize this. Oh, what happened here, guys, is the issue. That's weird. And guys, remember, logos should... Make sure you put time and effort into them. <laughs> it shouldn't take you a couple hours. Like a good logo takes time, right? You're from Chile. Hey guys, why don't you guys um, message in the chat where you guys are from? Oh, wide. No, I don't want wide. Expanded, light expanded, narrow. I don't want the narrow. It's too. I want the normal. There we go. So we'll make it bold. Guys, one tip is over the logo design. If you want to make it feel friendly, you will have it in lower case. You can have softer letters. So you can see. You see how this is all soft? On the edges, that makes it feel nice. Whoa, France, Netherlands, PH, I think that means Philippine. Or oh, oh, it's saying fat. Motion Tony, guys, if you guys haven't seen my new logo, Motion Tony in the chat made it. 
He's a legend. I wonder if I can share this stream to uh, Facebook. Um, create highlight video. I think I actually just sent an ad. <laughs> Did it pop up? Is it Friday? Happy Friday. Guys, I'm just sharing my links to Facebook. To get some more peeps out here. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, here we go. Alright, um, let's go guys. Let's go. Okay, so I just took this. So we're working with this. I took um, the element. This sort of drop here. Um, what if I... Let's make something interesting with these guys. Let's, um... Okay. I'm gonna take this. Press, um... R for the rotate tool. Locate the circle center of this. And then hold alt or option. Left click. And then you can see how it's gonna rotate. But I wanna do about, um, 60. So now I've got four equal flower things there. Or uh, drops. And then maybe I can. And what if I like, what if I like bring these in? What if I delete that and go again? Like what about that? That's kind of that's kind of cool. It sort of comes out from the middle there. <laughs> I don't like how it's rounded off, but. All right. Bioshock. <laughs> Light font was friendly always. Yeah, I can probably drop this down. Demi bold. So this is too long. So I'm going to have to stack it. Like this. Or I can duplicate this, make this smaller. Right. Um, I'm just going to break that off. Paste it back. Drop it down to make it like light. I don't want to space it out too much. You see, it sort of loses that legibility. So I don't want to space it out too much. Just increase the size there. So I'm, like, I'm trying to fit it in this space. You see this space here? We always want to use that space because you see the G. It sort of creates this space inside here. Can we make it a little bit more masculine? Oh, he's light. Oh, he's on here. Uh, masculine? Sure, sure. Masculine, my friends. New Jersey, what's up, New Jersey? What's cracking? So I could make it like that. Now I'll keep it lowercase. Um, I could even do this. I don't like that. What is happening here? So I'm just making a stroke, guys. Like this. Go like this. It's just a way to like get a nice balance. I don't want to make it too thick. I'll go probably one point like this. Two points. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Rephrase it like this. What's the shortcut for repeating a shape in a circle? You you press you rotate it, and you press Command D. It, but it doesn't matter what it is. Like if I have a circle, I can drag. So holding Alt and let go, and then um, Control D or Command D. It's just duplicating. It pretty much duplicates your past your the last action you did. That's the secret, guys. So we went from this. We went from this, guys. 
to this. This feels more feminine. This feels more manly. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plus this. Um, and let's add some color, eh? So. Oh gosh, got so many things open. Let's get some color from um, Dribble. So we go Dribble. Type in, um, maybe let's type in a massage place. Massage. Perfect. So what we can do, this sort of want a brownie vibe. Yeah, let's go for this one. You can see the colors down here. So I'll take these. Um, I want the region capture. Wait, wait, wait. I'm using this. Oh, what is happening? I'm using this screen capture software. So capture. Now I just want to cut this um the color at the bottom. See. And then I come here, paste it. Boom! There we go. So now I'm gonna pull some. I'm just gonna duplicate that. So you can see this color is very muddy, it's washed out, it looks green and not yellow, and that, that one color, it's just there's no balance, there's no nothing, right? But when we have this, we can flip it around. Right, there's so many things you can do. You can do it like this. I think this needs a bit more space. I think I gave it too much space. Ah, oh, what's happening? What the heck? Broke it. So we can play around. I'm literally just playing around, guys. So we can make. Sorry, I'm going to make this white. Like even that one could work. So just playing around with the colors makes it look better. You're fast. <laughs> I'm super speed, brother. All right. I think that will do. Um, thanks, Attila, for watching. Thanks for sending it through. Um, but yeah, we could play around with those colors. But overall, I feel like it works a lot better than having this. This feels more unique, more masculine, more professional. Let's jump to the next one. Oh my gosh. All right. got to be quicker, guys. I'm probably gonna have to skip a few. Yeah, you know I feel it. We the realest. Got my mates with me. Yeah, we're chilling, designing all night. Take no flight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this uh, logo, online shop for Japanese products. Be sent. Is a site for Japan lovers. I wanted to represent the simplicity and the zen of Japan, but keep a representation of it through the volcano. That should represent the Mount Fuji. 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 Whoa, anime style, boys and girls. Okay. Fuji. I, mean, I got a <laughs> Fuji printing. Mount Fuji. All right. Um. The simplicity and zen of Japan, but represent the the, the, the name Watashi no Nupun means my Japan. Mount Fuji, everyone. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna copy this, guys, and we're gonna we're gonna draw some colors from this, right? Okay. So, issue number one. What I see, the font is okay. It doesn't feel it's soft and friendly. Um, if it feels pretty chilled out, um, nothing too interesting going on with the, with the top, the font. There's too much texture and dots. You so you see all these like textures and things that won't work w well at a small size. It would actually be 
when you scale it down, it won't work too well. And then the, the cloud there is cool. I like that idea of the cloud and the volcano. But I just feel like this this is too long as well. Um, that text. So I wonder if maybe we can we can stack it, right? I'm just going to get some colors from this. Make a circle. And um, there we go, guys. We have a color palette just like that. See? By using an image creating a shape, getting the eyedropper, and just sampling colors off the actual pixels. So if you zoom in, there's pixels there, right? So I'm going to go here. Watashi no Nippon. I don't know how to say it. Anyone know how to say it? Um, I have this font. Let's see where it is. Here. Ah. Okay, it's called Odudo Soft. You see how it's rounded? I think that's a nice soft font. I have another one as well. Coco Goose is good as well. Which font do you guys like? Do you like the bottom or the top one? You see the W is different. See this? And it's a bit more wider. So, uh, people in this country and through the food items purchased, everyone can make that in Japan or remember what they experienced. So it's about food, it's about peace, it's about chilling. Um, all that good stuff. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What's happening? Um, okay. How's the stream going, guys? It's so, this is so cool. Thanks so much. No worries, bro. Let's use this one. So I wonder if we can Like I don't speak Japan So I don't know if you can read it like this To be honest But I'm just going to stack it like that Right What if you stacked it like this Then it would be like Watashi no Nippon Like Do they stop with the syllable Because it's cut I don't know It's about You, know, you got to experiment And obviously you got to know your Culture and your client and stuff But there's too many it, This is long So it can be hard Right um, That's why I feel like When it's three When it's like Three words, then you want to stack it. Right, so I'll get this. Um, I'm going to get a... Let's... Um, Mount Fuji. Let's see. Let's see if anything pops up, guys. I've got too many images here. Okay, okay... There's a lot of logos. This is Dribble, man. Dribble is amazing stuff. So I think we're going to go for that silhouette, guys. Um, I think that's the best bet right now. I won't copy straight off there, but um, we'll go to Google. And we'll type in Fuji. Mount Fuji. It says I'm Japanese. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm Aussie. Bottom, but overall, the top one looks good. W is good over bottom. Okay. So, guys, we're going to get a picture. We're going to get a picture real quick. Alright, this one looks looks nice. Or maybe we should just use that one. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, guys. We're going to simplify this. So, I'm going to come in here. Use the pen tool. As much as possible and I'm just trying to get the overall shape of the mountain slash aka volcano <laughs> and then typically what you see with Mount Fuji is like the sunset action like if I go back to dribble you see like everyone puts the sun in the back like look at this that looks amazing man beautiful like even this one as well it's got the sun so what I can do is put like the sunset like this. Select both shapes, cut off the bottom. And then what I can do is cut that off like that. Right, but I'll just go back real quick because I might have to fix it up. Copy paste. I want to make sure I'm getting enough of that mountain shape. So I can, let me just, I'm duplicating. Does that could work like this? I could 
Um, what if I just wanted to do this? Oh, I need these colors here. What if I wanted to do like a gradient? I don't know where my gradient tool went. Um, where is it, guys? Oh, here we go. I can do this and I can do this. Wait, first I'm going to just create that. Ah, oh, what happened? Okay. I'm trying to get rid of this color. <laughs> what is happening? Ah. Uh. So by making 0% opacity, see how it fades out nicely? And we've got this, and I could probably do the same to this as well. And see what that looks like. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I feel like it'll look better with... Whoa. Playing around here, pink. And what if I don't know, what if you want to make it like a retro? I don't know. Once again, I could also, um, I could just make it simple. I could just go for that simple vibe like that. Make it darker. What are you guys thinking? What an amazing gradient, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Gradients are fun when you can do it right. <laughs> so we have it that. We can, yeah, just playing around. I like this logo, actually. It's really simple. Once again, I could bring back the gradient. So, um, okay, so to make the gradient better, you see how it's not mixing well? So we need to change this color, the background color, and put it on the pink there. So it fades nicer, see? So it's not mixing. Because I don't want too much. And then I'll do the... This one already has that blue color. So it's like... But what I can do, I can multiply this. Or I can go... Color burn. Screen. Obviously... With blending modes, it can be tricky, especially for a final logo. You want to have like a black and white. So I can do multiply. Like even that's kind of cool. And I can like... Like that's nice. Um, I could even maybe put some white. Some... Oh wow, wrong color guys. Some white there. Like that's even cool. Like you can do so many things. Um. Wow. You guys are liking this one, eh? I'm trying to look for... What's like, what's like some Japanese, um, Japanese tree? The ma I think the maple tree, right? Cherry blossom. Um, cherry... Cherry blossom icon. I think it might get too complicated. Okay, but what if I just... Oh, I don't want to copy that. It's like a paste thing. Um, bonsai. <laughs> bonsai. Yeah, you could do that. Ah.
Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying not to copy things that, you know, just have watercolor. Oh, I'll just copy this one. See if it works. Obviously, I don't recommend doing this all the time, guys. But um, yeah, look, it comes out weird. But anyway, you get the point, And I could put that inside the negative space. Um, it is yeah. Don't touch a thing. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm just gonna leave it there, guys. So. That's the final logo. I think it's cool. I think we did well from this one to that one, guys. Which one is your vote? Top or the bottom? All right. Let's go next one. Okay, so this one's from Erica. This one's a bit trippy, but the feather is at the top of the sea. So she said that we have to keep the feather. I don't, I don't really see where the feather is on this. Um, top of the sea, voodoo. Oh wait, she sent me two logos. I don't know what is what. Guys, these are really trippy, man. These... Oh, okay, I see. I designed these logos for my fiancé. He's a musician. He plays guitar and sings blues, souls, and... Uh, blues, soul, and rock music. The stage name is Voodoo Child. The feather is important, and his band is Voodoo 88. Oh, so this is his name. The ba band name, and this is the brand. Which one should I redo, guys? Left or right? Left or right? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, too many complex. Quick, guys. Vote, 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 vote. It's tied, right? Is it tied? All right, right. All right, here we go. We are going in, boys. We're gonna go get this thing. Voodoo. Chab. Alright, top out a couple. I think I'm gonna go for that script. That script font. So what we got. Let's see what we got over here, my friends. Bondoni, eh? Bondoni. There's not really other much information, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, doo -doo -doo. Bayshaw, I love this um, script font. Dope. Oh yeah, now we're in business. Oh yeah, I ain't going to flinch this. Oh yeah. And guys, typically you don't always have to have a space. You can literally just make it like, even as two words, you can combine it and tighten it up. You know what I mean? So... Here it is. Um, I have to somehow add the feather in. So what I can do, I'm gonna I'm gonna trace this. You guys reckon it will work? All right, here we go. So I'm just tracing using image trace. Bump that up. I want to get rid of that detail once again. Bump up that paths. Put up the that. I think that's fine. And people out here getting logos, man. For free? What is this? I'm kidding. Obviously, I don't want these in a logo, but, you know, you can have it there. What if I do like this? So, I want to add some color, guys. It's just... Um, where is my palette so over here, boys? So I like I like the red, the blue stuff in the back. I don't know if that's working. Let's go for a red palette. Let's go for something deep, deep red, my friends. 
Oh yeah, you know we feel it. Oh, we did the realest. Oh yeah, we gon' get it. Overflow. Overlay. Color dodge. Yeah. Red letters. Open up. It's like a sweater. Uh. Vendetta. Coming quick. So obviously guys... Obviously, this feather needs to be like light to make it work. I could do it like this. Just like keep it simple, eh? Just keep it simple, guys. That's all you gotta do. You gotta keep it simple. <laughs> Obviously, these... <laughs> These icons are messed up, but stuff it. Oh my gosh, guys, it's almost two hours. I want to just try to finish. How are you guys enjoying the stream so far? Liking it? Any tips or feedback? MC Jeremy rapping for glory. Designing is his destiny. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, man. Spitting rhymes, guys. Yeah, T I typically do some free freestyling. If you can catch me. If you can catch me, my friends. Um, I just need a simple font, guys. Who loves these lo-fi, guys? It's just it's too good. I'll just do uniform font. Put that there. And we are good to go, my friends. Like that. Okay, what do you think? So we went from this crazy thing to just I just I just need to simplify it, guys. It's just I don't I, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I could also do this as well. That could work. But I don't like how this see this. Bring it forward like that. That's something we can do as well. When's the mixtape dropping? You're full of good tips. Thanks. Awesome vibes. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you can spend... Tonight is actually Friday night. It's 11.45, 8pm, guys. So, thanks. We still got a couple more logos, though. Don't just leave yet. But um, I'm just going to leave... Oh, my gosh. What is happening? I'm going to leave it there for this one. We got a new one, fresh one, blessed one. Oh, it's like Pinterest, guys. Someone copied. Jokes, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, yeah, make a copy. Okay, guys, so this is for... Um, awesome. She said she follows my Skillshare. So, guys, if you didn't know, I have Skillshare courses on there. Um, if you want to learn about freelancing, design, logos, branding, all that good stuff, you can go to my Skillshare. The link's in the description, so check it out. Um, okay, okay. So, this logo here, it's a platform that enables friends and family to easily come together and collaborate on a group gift and to celebrate the people they love. The concept of the logo is inspired by um, by the name Presently. It's a gift box that's about to be opened. The colors were chosen to mimic the same joy and delight that one was when they opened a gift. I immediately understand that Presently has something to do with gift giving. Hope that helped. Okay. What do you guys think of the logo? Yeah. I can beat box. Feel it. I got a sweat on. Yeah, let's get our flex on. I get your bit on. Logos are running. Here we are. My mind racing. Time gazing. Mind blazing. Got ideas on the overflow. I'm not quitting because I never quit. Get it for the show. Uh, we on the road. I do it for the road. Oh, yeah. Want to trade places? <laughs> nah, brother. Um, 
It's kind of simple, guys. I don't know. There's too much. Okay, first thing, too much white space. See all this white space? Too much. This feels like Pinterest, guys. Let me just show you. Look at this. Look at this logo right here. It just reminds me of that. Also, this font, I think it's a free font called Great Vibes or Grand Hotel, I think. Um, I like the little box thing. That's kind of cute. Gift better together. That probably can be improved. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to change it too much, guys. I'm just going to... Presently... Uh, let's find a script font. Let's um, let's see what Adobe has. Let's see. I'm coming through a man of many talents. Thank you, man. It's all God, brother. He gives people gifts. If you if you stick close to him, he reveals deep mysteries. Mister Rees. Oh, nice font. Oh, why is it doing that? What the heck? Dude, guys, you see how fast this is moving? What? Presently... Uh, wait, I need a script. Script, script, script. No. Yeah, we'll stick with the script. I think they like that. Pacifico Light. Oh, I think that's the font she's using. It looks like it. What's this? No, I want... I want... You're too talented to let it jump. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, I think there's only a couple more. So this, I don't know what's happening. This fonts, man. Just want to script. Gabriella. Baking soda. Dun, 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 Nick Canley is a good font. What if I use... Oh, steak and cheese. That's nice. See what happens when you stretch it out? You don't want to stretch out a script. You guys want to leave it. But I can add some kerning there to fix that. Um, yeah, I just feel like this is a bit nice. So I don't like this P. It just doesn't look nice. But I like this P. It has a better... Better spacing. Give better together. We shall clear. Okay, we're going to use... Let's go BW Nista Grotesque. Scale this down. When it comes to... Guys, just remember as well, when you make things very thin, be be careful because, once again, sometimes you lose legibility, especially if it's really small on a website or small on a little sticker. just doesn't work. So you want to bump it up. Not You don't have to go too thick, but instead of going light or thin, go up to like a regular. And you can see how it's a lot better than like this. This feels thin, but this one feels all right. So, and then I'm not going to cramp it. You don't want to cramp things like this. That's just stupid. Or like put it like over here or just like center it. Like that just doesn't work, right? So we always want to try and fill the space. We always want to try to fill this space, right? Where the, if there's like a, a long tail shape here. So I'm just going to scale it down. Put it there. But also I could make it bigger and do it like this. So I'm filling that gap there. So it fits nicely between this. Uh, what is happening? So it fits nicely between this shape, see? There's a bit of white space here, but it sort of balances out. It's not too bad, right? I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm going to go select this. Um, and then I'm not going to make it purple, but I'm going to get this color. Go color guide. Go to uh, monochromatic, add this to my swatches, and then, see, so I can choose a darker color. Yeah, this dark. I can do another color, uh, make it a bit darker. Cool trick, you change the RGB to HSB, which is hue, saturation, brightness, and drop this down. I don't know why it's not showing, but press OK, and see it made it darker. 
yeah. So do this one. Just makes it better. Presently, tragedy open up and just receive. Make it lighter like this. And um, we can take the gift. Guys, I think I'm just going to take this, take this. Drop a star in here. Why not? I'm going to make it soft. Soft star like that. I can also customize this, so I don't know why there's a little X there for some reason. What do you see this thing? What the heck is that? I can customize it, drag this, pull that up, plus that space like this. Do this. And now we got I don't know, this thing's a mess, but what is happening? Maybe that could work. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a danky peep up, whatever. <laughs> uh, make it smaller. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I like the text choice there. <sighs> Better this way. Um, what do you guys think of it? Is it better? Is it worse? What do you think? I don't have time to do the present. I think the present can, works by itself. That's cool. Just play it around. I'm going to look for the next logo. Um, Jamie. All right, I think this will be the last one. Da -da 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 -da. I just gotta check my Instagram, guys. One second. I think it posted fully. Do All right, my, there's a new carousel up, guys, as well. Check it We're on the record. Oh, so um, here's the other one. All right, guys, what do you think of this logo? This is for a vintage. This is it's a vintage airport. Really, really cool. Um, like a vintage aviation planes. Um, one second. And, um, all right, cool, cool. One second. All right, we're good, we're good, guys. So it's a, they sell t-shirts on small airports. That's his Instagram. Okay, guys, see how it's, it's very long. And you can't see the detail on Instagram. It's very small. So pay attention to that, right? So they sell t-shirts, that's pretty cool, that's nice. This is their website. You see this um you see this little symbol in the middle, you can't really see it. You can't you can't see that little detail. So I think the yellow and black works nice, that's cool. So I'm gonna first of all just gonna go straight for slant x ray. I wanna find a sort of like an edgy font. Um, what font? Let's go. Let's go for a nice font. TD Hazelnuts. TD Slabs. Let's go for TT Norms. Okay, so guys, you can always play with the words, right? So because this is slant, I think of like a s actual slant. So what I'll do, I'll make this actual um 
I'll make it italic. I'm going to expand this text. And you can see how there's this weird space here, right? But it starts, look, you can tell this looks like an actual um, arrow, which is kind of cool, right? Look at this. See? See the arrow there? That's kind of interesting. But what I want to do, like I could actually do this or I can extend it. I like extending stuff and connecting it. So that's nice, right? Um, I'll play around with this. You always want to try and customize the font. So I've got the R there. Maybe I can get rid of the, um, the A. So I've already customized the font. Always customize. All right. So we've got that done. Um, it's already looking. It's already looking unique, right? Um, so he would love my logo to have a vintage 1940s look. My logo doesn't quite have that feel, and I don't know how to achieve that. Um, it's depicted as a pilot's flight plan. Denotes an airplane with minimal equipment, no radios, no fancy display, just a stick. It's very simple. Um, but he doesn't know if it should tell people e airplanes. Remember, a logo doesn't have to be literal. It doesn't even have to have an airplane thing. Um, it's already better. <laughs> Hundred percent, man. You can always make little tweaks. Your work made me forget it. <laughs> um, awesome. Separate it in two lines. Yeah. So he wants a nineteen. 40s look, right? So I'm gonna go Pinterest. I have a few fonts, so I can type 1940s labels. So like I can see the text. Or I can go 1940s planes. All right, and look at the font there. So you can see the the plain the the text. I think this would be a better one. Click this. I'm just gonna copy paste. Okay, so we want to look at. So I'm looking at these type of text. It's very blocky, right? So this one might. I might try and find a um, so I've actually got DD hardware this one's a good font see how it's like blocky it has that sort of effect um, TT what else we got we got TT that's TT blue screens I might need to use one of these. I got one called American Auto, which is this one. Let me know what what font do you feel like? Which font's giving you that nineteen forties vibe, guys? Let me know in the comments. If I start to add these ones, yeah, hundred percent. This one's called um, barley, as in like the wheat barley. There's this one. There's. Having so much fun. Du -du -du, du -du -du -du, American auto script. What else we got? What else? I think I'm just going to pick one of these ones. What do you think? Which one? Which one? DDC is Draplin's font, isn't it? Love that guy. It is. It is his font. It's a great font. Let's use Draplin's font then. It's a great font, brother. There's no... Okay, so because there's no italics, you guys, there's a cool trick. Um, which one is it? It's one of the... One of these options. You can actually rotate that. That's pretty cool. There's a way to... What? There's a way that you can um, italicize it. I'm trying to remember what it is. It's not that. It's not that good. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop it. That's a cool looking A. 
got that. We got that. Um, then, 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 then. We can do this one as well. This is a cool trick. See? You always just gotta play around, guys. That is the key to success. Experiment, my friend. What's the name of the of all this font? <laughs> Bro, you won't find it. You gotta buy them. They're all premium. If you know what I mean, son. So once again, I'm looking at these fonts on these planes. Uh, I'm just getting an idea of what they look like, right? So what if I did like, what if I added like a... What if I added like a full, st like a, like a stop or something? I don't know. Does that work? I'm gonna trace this real quick, see if it works, guys. So once again, I'll delete the detail there. Keep the wing. And I can... It, it was a cool idea what he was doing with the... Um, with the X, how he did that. Like that, that's kind of a cool idea. I don't mind that. Um, but I think instead of doing it on the text, we can just make it itself. It's got a it's got a comp uh, condensed compressed version, which is cool. <coughs> um, USA. Uh, he took flying lessons in a nineteen forty seven Piper J three Cub. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. Oh, that's cool. I like planes. It's cool. There's, I've actually watched a couple army planes. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So once again, they use that nice bold font. They didn't use script font or anything. <coughs> USA. I don't know. I'll just type in air or something. This is crooked, by the way. <laughs> See this? I'm going to rotate. I'm just using a circle as a guide. Copy. Okay, that should be better now. I'm going to copy the yellow from here. Maybe a mustard yellow. I could do a version without this. Plus that together. Clean that up. Um, I think that's it. What do you guys think? What? What is your opinion? Type J3. Yeah, good point. J3. When is the next Skillshare class coming? I'm not sure, man. I, I have a lot of client work to do. <laughs> uh, what if I... What if I trace this thing here? I'm just cleaning this up, just playing around, and um, I wanted to make it grey. Uh, 
Obviously, I wouldn't probably have that in the logo, but whatever. I don't know, just playing around. Trying to figure out where to port it, but... Anyway. Now, this Indian accent... <laughs> yeah, you can tell I, ha I have Indian friends. <laughs> I think... Is that it, guys? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I'm just gonna quickly pump. All right, I think it's two more. You guys are still with me? Are you still with me? 21 viewers, that's pretty good. Take the star and the stripes. Nah, I moved on. The stripes, yeah, I could. I'm over it. Okay, uh, okay this one, guys, is for... A company does astrology apparel using pod services. I don't know what that means. Gaia meaning Earth in ancient Greek. Eden will... Well, you guessed it. Paradise on Earth. Hence the tree, planet, the core, forbidden fruit. Yes, yes. Uh, star symbol of astrology. I tried sketches. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Guys, this logo is too complex. I like the star ID. I'm going to trace this, and then I'm going to tweak this. Oh no no no! no. I don't I don't want that circle. Okay okay, I'm gonna expand it. Right, I'm gonna take the circle because the circle represents a globe. I'm gonna make this for why right, like this. I could maybe scale it all the way, or I could make it small. I think scaling it works well like that. Um, yeah, I think that, I think maybe a bit smaller like that. That's awesome. And then, what's the name? Gaia Eden. Why can't you just call it Gaia? Um, no, 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 no. Where was that font? That was pretty cool. Athens. I have this weird font. I wonder where is it? Yeah, look at this font. It's kind of cool. What do you guys think? <laughs> Okay, and let's um Astro when I think of Astrology I think of like space and stuff, right? Um uh, what do we have? Purples, blues. Interesting. I think we had some colours from over here. Yeah, let's let's stick with it. let's go for this one. And um Midnight Sky. Make it white, 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 white. So once again, test it out, guys. What do you think of this one? You're too fast on my typing speed. <laughs> Take the star. Uh, we are, by the way. Love the DJ Vin. No worries, man. You're too fast. All right, guys. I like this. Just simplified. Like from this, I don't have time. I'm going to finish the stream very soon. So I'm just rushing through these ones. And then I think there's one more. 
from GMX. What? Okay, this is gonna be the last one. The last one. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Satori. Um. Satori, he, I mostly create websites and user interfaces, but I also create some print work. I like the Star Wars sign in the logo because it represents that everything is connected, not just digitally. I'm not sure about the font and color. In my opinion, the logo is not balanced. Feel free to go get over it. I'm clear. All right. Visual. Guys, you don't need drop shadow. See this? You don't need that. I like how he, I like his ID, how he did that. That's cool. That's cool. Drop shadow on the star doesn't work. I don't even think you need the star, right? But I guess, I guess he likes that. So. Um, delete the drop shadow. Guys, if you want to be, feel like a modern designer, we need to use bright colors, right? Bright palettes, bright colors. Um, I guess he likes this pink. So why don't we go for this? Back to the purples again. Now I want to use a... So we go to dribble again. <coughs> I'll type in blue. Get some nice palettes. We'll get some nice palettes over here. Take this one. Copy, paste it. We can't read. Why bother? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You tell him, bro. <laughs> I don't know what this font is. I don't know where this came from, but that, that looks kind of cool. It says Visual Design Studio. Visual Design Studio. I don't know where this font came from, guys, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to change it to uniform. I don't know if this is a, a, la a lady or a guy. I don't know. I reckon, guys, let's just take this, get this star thing, and I always use negative, I love negative space, I'm gonna drop it into here, and I think this could be, uh, uh, it's not gonna get rounded off. I don't know if it's gonna round off, yeah, it's not rounding off properly. Oh, there we go. Now it's around here. There we go. That looks like a splatter now. <laughs> That's cool, but I like that. So if we go too small, it's not going to work, right? So we need to, we need to make it big like this. Not too big. I'll, I'll chop it. Chop these little... Oh my gosh, what happened there? Let's chop this. Satori, grafico. Um, I 
So we just came out with heaps of pellets there. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think of this one? It's an 100 branch star. <laughs> Alright guys, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there. Thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. Um, it was good, good fun. Let me know for next time if you want me to do logos. I'm thinking of doing portfolio reviews. Or someone mentioned carousel reviews. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about those things? Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy the stream? Um, yeah. Created a lot of logos, guys. What the heck? $20,000 each. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, we came a long way, guys. Pretty satisfied. I think this is better than my last session I had. Um, you're super duper fun. Thanks. You're getting new for a lot. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe and also like the video. It really helps me out. It helps my channel. Um, and yeah, new courses will be coming soon. Um, new content. But um, yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for watching. Dun 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 the freaking Thanks so much, really appreciate it. Thanks so much guys. If you have any more questions quickly, I'm about to jump off. Um but uh yeah. Please do a car a carousel on your favorite fonts. I I have one, I've already done one on on my font that I use. Uh, I'm just gonna save this. I'll quit it. Cool, cool. <laughs> cool guys. All right, I'm gonna jump off now. Thanks guys for watching the stream. Take it easy. Talk to you next time. And um, if you want to chat to me, just DM me on Instagram. That's at the Jeremy Mura. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I'll, I'll send them. Bye-bye.